Hello, everyone. I hope everything's going well for you today. Uh, I want to get right to it and bring you two dreams today um, that are indicative of food shortages. Uh, that would be my interpretation of it. Um, the first dream is one I actually had, and I do not get dreams from God very often. Sometimes I do. Um, the Lord speaks to me in different ways other than that, but sometimes he does give me dreams that I pay attention to uh, and try to discern um, to his purpose. This dream took place on November 28th, 2021. It went like this. I was in the backyard of a house we used to live in, and we lived about two blocks, maybe three blocks away from this huge grain elevator. In, in true life, we did. Um, it was that way in the dream also, but just a massive grain elevator. <clears throat> we live in a rural community. So um, we I was standing there. It was at night. And suddenly, this huge explosion it was so loud that I, I, I honestly, I covered my ears and ducked. I had never heard anything that loud before in my life. I looked and I could see that the grain elevator had exploded. I ran inside to alert my family. We could not get find our shoes, so we were not prepared. Um, eventually we did find our shoes and we, oh, I don't know why we needed, well, I do know why we needed to find our shoes, but in the dream, we could not find our shoes. We got our shoes on. Uh, we got the kids and my husband and I got in a white pickup truck and we drove to the grain elevator and was, was driving by it, watching the flames. Um, and, and my husband said, there's going to be more explosions, so we went back to the house and I thought we need to move out of the proximity of this grain elevator because if it explodes, the debris is going to hit us. So that's where the dream ended. <clears throat> Same night, I woke up from that dream, got up, went to the bathroom, came back, got into bed, had another dream where I was at church and there were, our, our congregation was there. We have a small group of people that meet and worship. And two women were talking together about their dreams. And I said, well, I had a dream that the grain elevator exploded and our shoes weren't ready. So now I have all of our shoes in a row ready just in case we need to leave quickly. And I told them about that dream. So it was, and, and there were other things to that dream, but that's the part that I want to share. So, so that dream came to an end and I woke up and I thought, oh my goodness, I just had a dream within a dream. I was dreaming and told someone about a dream I just had, which is very unusual. So um, in interpreting that dream, I would say a couple of things. One is... Uh, the shoes, when you dream about shoes, often it means your path. It represents the path you're walking on. And I would say that the path uh, I was on or maybe am on uh, in November, current, I was just not as prepared to face what was coming. And to me, when you dream about a grain elevator the grain is what sustains us our food so much of our food comes from wheat corn <clears throat> oats all kinds of grains and so when the grain elevator exploded I do think it was indicative of what we're seeing now where our uh, access to wheat is going to be cut uh, across the world because of what's happening in Ukraine and Russia. Now, um, in the second part of that, when I, the, the, the part of the dream where I was telling 
my church about it. I think that's indicative of tell the believers to have their shoes ready for what's coming. Um, get your shoes, get your path prepared. Um, shortages are coming. That's what I would think that dream meant. And when I wrote it down in my journal, that's what I wrote down. Are shortages coming? Uh, at that point in November, I really, that wasn't really in the headlines, nor was it on my radar. Russia, of course, had not even um, lined up on the border uh, showing any indication of invasion. So very interesting that our father would warn us in that way through our dreams that preparation would be prudent. Now, second dream. Now, this dream happened um, very recently. Uh, let me get my paper over here. Uh, yeah, March 28th, 2022. This is a dream my, my, my dad had. Now, granted, this is after the invasion of uh, Ukraine and Russia, after the Russia went into Ukraine. Um, so March 28th, 2022, my dad had this dream. Um, it, uh, he was wanting to get supplies and was looking for a grocery store. He came to a door, uh, I mean, a, a grocery store that had very wide doors. Um, and when he went in, there were all these shelves in the store, but they were all empty. And he thought, that's very odd. Uh, there was no food on any of the shelves. They were just completely empty. But in the far corner of the store, there were several um, cartons of, of like Coca-Cola. So there were several boxes of Coke. And he thought, okay, well, um, I'll go over there and get those. It's better than nothing. So um, a salesperson came up to him and said, can I help you? And he said, yeah, I wanted to buy some Cokes. And so she was able to put together some six packs of Coke, but she had to assemble them. And when she gave him one, the whole top of the of the Coke can had been torn off and it was just an open can of Coke. And he was like, that's bad. I, I don't want that. And she said, that's all we have. So uh, he took the Coke and filled up his cart, went through the checkout line, was leaving. And um, uh, the manager of the store came up to him and said, Have, did you find everything you needed? And he went, there's no food. And the man said, yeah, there is. And just smiled and just was as happy as can be. And my dad was like, no, there's not. And it felt in the dream as if this man was being deceived or or trying to deceive there was an element of deception so my dad left the store got in the car and started driving off and when he turned around and saw the man just smiling and waving at the doors of the store now then that was the end of the dream once again this dream very obvious food shortages um, if you walk into a store and there are no there is no food on the shelves it's very evident that um, there's none to be had. Now then, why did the manager speak in such a way like, yeah, there's food? To me, I would interpret that as there's people who are living in um, the lie. They, they think that there's food that's going to be there, and there's not. I would ask you, um, here's, a, here's an exercise that you could do. Uh, to affirm this information or um, discount it. It's really up to you. First of all, prayer is always the first thing we go to. Um, in your heart, in your spirit, what is the Holy Spirit revealing to you about these things I'm saying? That's the most important thing. Second thing is, when you go to the grocery store, if you see a worker or a manager or the checkout person, ask them, are y'all getting trucks? coming in are trucks coming to supply your store and if they say yes or no or whatever ask are they on time are they full are they what you need are they what you've ordered I think you will be shocked at what the employees are saying I often speak to grocery store employees like that just to get a handle on 
how how are things going? What is the dynamic of the landscape in my area? So do that and then prepare accordingly. If you look and see that there's only uh, a few items and they're blocked to the front of this shelf, look behind that and see how many are in are are there. There there may not be as many items as they want you to think there is. Um, always um, uh, buy items that are going to be shelf stable, that are going to last a long time. Check the date, okay, and make sure you know you're 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 not getting food that's fixing to run and expire. But off, also. Um, the expiration date can also be extended. Often canned goods are good beyond that date. Um, always check it, smell it, look at it, make sure if it looks sketchy, don't eat it, of course. But um, anyway, um, so I would, I, I think this is a warning from our father uh, that food may not be as available to us as it has been in the past. And as an American, uh, we're just flat out, I, I, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to not going to the store and getting what I want, what I need. Um, so be aware of that. Respond accordingly. Be wise and prudent in the way you uh, prepare your, your ark <laughs> for the coming storm. Because I do believe a storm is coming. The dust is on the horizon. Uh, be prepared. Don't panic. Just prepare. All right, I'm going to leave that with you. Uh, I'd like you to stay close to God this week, and uh, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.